Hey everyone, welcome back to the Respiratory Therapy Resource Center. I appreciate you clicking on my video today. So if you could do me a favor and just subscribe to my channel, I would greatly appreciate it so I can continue making videos just like this one for your continued enjoyment. Have a great day. Bye. Hey everyone, I hope y'all are having a great day today. So today's video is on vent changes using ABGs as your guide. So if you haven't had a chance, please check out respiratorytherapyrc.com for any updated ebooks that I've uploaded. I have some new things there that I think you might like. All right, moving on to ABG relationships, right? So we have relationships of ABGs with the ventilator, right? So if you have a low PaO2, you have two options. You can go up on the PEEP or the FiO2. Most of the time we go up to 60 or 70% FiO2 and then we start looking at the PEEP, right? To increase the PEEP. So those are your two options. So if you have a high PaCO2 and a low pH, that's considered a respiratory acidosis, right? So you have two options. You can increase the tidal volume or the respiratory rate. Let's look a little bit more closely at correcting a respiratory acidosis. So if we're looking at a volume control vent setting with the following settings, FiO2 of 50, respiratory rate of 16, tidal volume of 420, flow of 50, and a PEEP of 5, and then we have this ABG come back at 7.165, 75, and 25, we would say that is a respiratory acidosis, right? So we have two options. We can either go up on the respiratory rate or go up on the tidal volume. But remember, respiratory rate times tidal volume equals minute ventilation. Minute ventilation is truly the one that we're trying to increase. You can increase either one and achieve a higher minute ventilation as well. So a few notes on respiratory rate include always check your I to E ratio, right? You want to make sure that you're giving your patient enough time to exhale. If you're not, you can always adjust the flow on a volume control setting or the I time on a pressure control setting, right? And that verification of a proper I to E ratio will help prevent auto peep, right? You don't want your patient to auto peep and eventually have borrowed trauma to deal with later, okay? So those are some notes on respiratory rate. Now, if you increase the tidal volume, just a few things to look out for, your PIP will rise if you increase the tidal volume, which is fine. Just be aware of how high your PIP is going. If your PIP is already very high, let's say 35 centimeters of water pressure, then you most likely want to go to your respiratory rate instead of increasing the tidal volume. Always, always remember to check your P-plat with an inspiratory hold and do not let the P-plat go above 30. Do everything you can to prevent the P-plat from going above 30 centimeters of water pressure, okay? We always practice lung protective strategies. So... With that being said, don't forget to get a follow-up ABG 30 minutes after you make these vent setting changes to verify that your patient is in a much better place than they were before you made the changes. I hope you all got something out of this video, and I hope you have a great day. All right, thanks for watching. I appreciate y'all taking the time to watch this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something new. And if you don't mind taking a minute to subscribe to my YouTube channel, I would greatly appreciate it. Also, don't forget to check out respiratorytherapyrc.com. I have some ebooks available you guys might like. So check it out. Have a great day. Bye.